Hey YouTube, Phil and Florence. Well, it's another college game day. Clemson should roll okay over NC State. They always give them trouble. Though. In South Carolina, mmm, Georgia Bulldogs. This is the game of the season for them besides Clemson. So, good luck, game cops, is all I can say. <laughs> it's going to be a tough one. What I got for you today is back here you'll see another little section added to my Weber Smoky Mountain. I just can't stay away from that cooker. I like my big pit, but uh, this thing here is just a lot of fun. You can do so much with it. What we're going to do is you see the Cajun Bandit accessory in uh, another section and I got the rotisserie. I put out a little teaser earlier in the week what was coming. I'm gonna, I got that to do a uh, big turkey or either two smaller turkeys during Thanksgiving in another couple of weeks. So I'm doing a test run today with a couple of whole chickens. I got, you know me, I can't stand to have a lot of room on the grill and it empty. So I got a couple other things I'm gonna throw on there uh, to make it interesting stuff I love anyway so stay tuned and I'll be right back okay I never trust a chicken or a turkey and there's several different ways to do it probably ten different ways but I saw one guy do it that talked about uh, opening the legs up and so forth so it would cook a little better. Go under, even up your stream. Go around the wings. Make sure that skin's pulled down. You're going to be tightening up on that skin to protect the breast from the heat. And you're going to go around again. Then you're going to go around this bottom of this breast bone and cross, cross each other underneath there, like that. Then you're going to go, I may not have enough string on this one, around the legs and back over and cross again. Yeah, like that. And then flip it over and tie it on the back. Anyway, it's supposed to open those legs up somewhere. It'll cook a little, to cook more evenly. So when the breast gets done, the legs are done, the thighs. Anyway, if your way's different, which it probably is, that's okay my first time ever doing it but it'll work Ooh. well here's what we got going some more veggies I love those things especially off the grill and some steak some ham some chicken and some shrimp got a lot going on hey like this Fred mega Fred is that how you do it? Okay, it's time to put the meat on. I got to put the meat on and I'm gonna come back and cut up these vegetables. It's too much like work. Whoa, man, it's been a job cutting all this up. But, got it. Get her done. We going on the grill.
they didn't send uh, a power cable. I had to order it. It hadn't gotten here yet, but it's running off the battery. We'll see how far that goes. It's been, I don't know, about an hour. Just put these vegetables on. Got another tray down there below. We got the food now, boys. And that ham is down there cooking. You can see it. Chicken is about 142. So I'll take it up when it gets 165. Yes, sir. We got it going on. We couldn't put too little chicken zone here and leave all that space now could we I got this vent closed. I got this vent cracked. This one here is barely cracked. And you can see right there, it's 384. Been like that for an hour later. Okay, it's been two hours and 15 minutes. Let's see what we got here. That's pretty. Vegetables hadn't been on that long, but they needed a little, little longer. I think I'll take the shrimp off. Okay, we're at the end of this cook. Let's see what we got. We did a rotisserie chicken, did a ham, did some kebabs. I had to put some twine on it, some butcher's twine because they they cut it too too deep and it was falling apart. It's still juicy though. It's falling apart. Woo! It's delicious. Very tender. Not dried out. It looks dark, but it's definitely not dried out. These little yard birds I did as kind of a practice run for a turkey. Let's see what they look like. Oh, they're very juicy and moist. Yes, it's dripping wet. Can't beat that. That's very tender, very moist. Turned out excellent. The ham's excellent. Now, down here is one of my favorite things to do, as you probably have found out by now. I've done it three times in the last month. <laughs> I love grilled vegetables. Is that pretty or what? I mean, you're looking at steak, ribeye steak, new potatoes, onions, zucchini, shrimp, uh, pineapple, uh, bell pepper, tomatoes, these Roma tomatoes. It's just, and, and these 
You can put these in a big gallon Ziploc, and when you refrigerate them, they taste just as good tomorrow and the next day. And that flavor, it just, I think it tastes better the second day. You know how some of those things go. And then I got some asparagus in there. Um, shrimp A. Mm. Bell pepper A. Hmm. Potato A. Mm. One more. A piece of this pineapple. Mm. <laughs> it's been a good day. My game cops lost, but they lost with dignity. 21 to 10 against a number one or number two team in the country. Clemson but, won. But the Tigers won. Yay! <laughs> NC State gave them all they can handle. Yep. I appreciate you following along and keeping up with my cooks. Thank you for coming along today. Hit like, leave us a comment, and above all, subscribe. Hit the little bell and you'll see every time I put out a new video. So until next time, this is Phil and Florence. You take care.